Right. So it is talking about. Uh, so you 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 uh, <clears throat> asked me to discuss from the forty second. We have uh, discussed until the fortieth question last week. Uh, in case if you want to discuss anything in between, just let me know. Right. So I'm starting from forty second. So it is talking about consider the following values: two point three e two, uh, true from all capitals. And uh, this isn't a string, and a, a double quote. A double quote is there. So they are asking which of the above values are valid in Python, right? Komi do, oh Komi do. All right, okay. Hari, make a pass. Man, kata karan ang ita nito. Right, so two point three e two, it is uh, a way of representing a floating point value, one of the ways. Right, so two point three e two kela nawa. This means two point three into ten to the power two kela nika. Right, the scientific method. Right, so a is considered to be a correct one. So the type of this is float. Right and uh, true. Now this is going to be a wrong one. The correct Boolean value is going to be something like this: T capital. All other things are simple. Right. So this true is going to give you an incorrect type or incorrect value actually. So A is correct. B is incorrect, so A should be in your answer. B shouldn't be in your answer. So methana B T no, methana B T no, methana B T no. So all three answers will be rejected. And C, this isn't a string. Now that is correct. It is starting from double quotes, limit limited by double quotes, and a single quote has use inside the uh, string. It, so it doesn't matter. Right, so that is the way we are going to uh, use single and double quotes inside a particular sentence, right, or a string. So C is a correct one. So A and C is correct, and D, just the double quote won't give you a, a empty string. At least you should have two double quotes or two single quotes, right? <coughs> so this this is just a double quote. Mukha the metana tiyan net double quote taka ni the udha teke tiyan net double quote taka. So it's exactly same thing that you can see as the B part. So you can understand it's, it's just a double quote, not two single quotes. So because of that, B can be taken as an incorrect one, right? So it's only A and C. Right, forty third. Right in forty third. Ah, sorry. Let's talk about the forty first. Uh, which of the following statement about Python data types or expressions is correct? String is a mutable data type. Now, when it comes to the mutable and immutable. There is only two mutable data types, which is the list and the dictionary. Right, all other data types are immutables. So, string is a mutable data type. No, it is wrong. It is an immutable one. List is an immutable data type. Wrong. It is a mutable one. One, two, three, limiting from the square brackets is a tuple. No, it's not a tuple. It's a list. So it is wrong. The expression one comma two comma three and a square bracket one will produce two when executed. Yeah. Now one two three is a list, right? So one two three limited by the square brackets is a list. So it's going to have the indexes as zero one two. So when you have something like this, it can produce two, 
right? So it's it's kind of a correct one. Let's go with the fifth one. The type A colon one, one colon one, two. Yes, it's a dictionary. Yeah, now, now this is definitely a solid answer, right? So it has a key colon value, right? So the key is going to be the, uh, there are two items actually. So A is going to be the key colon, then one is going to be the value. And the, and the second part, one is going to be the val, uh, uh, key. So after the colon, one comma two within uh, parenthesis are going to be the value, which is a tuple. And it is separated by a comma and limited by these curly braces. So, the, uh, so this is definitely a dictionary. Right, so they are asking the correct one. Fifth one is the correct one. In fourth one, the problem may held with the square brackets. Right, so if it asks like this, let's see whether it is going to get uh, executed. Let's check it out. So what they are saying here is comma two, comma three. And then the square brackets and say one. Right? Yeah. It executes, but the only difference is it's only produced two. There is no square brackets in it, right? So that will only take you, like that will only print you the value which regarding that index, right? Let's see whether the slicing operator works in here. So like, uh, I'll increase some of the values. So now I'll, I'll make it as 10, 20, 30 things. Right here, I'm going to uh, try one colon three. So if the slicing operator is working, so you should be able to see 20 and 30 because 10 contains the zero index, 20 contains the first index, 30 contains the second index, 40 contains the third index. So if I say one to third, so only 20 and 30 will be shown because it is not considering about the last one. Let's see whether this is going to work. Yeah, so it works. Now, so remember, when you are asked to show a particular slicing job, you will be getting the answer with the square brackets. If you are just referring from the index, you will be getting only the value, no square brackets. Right? Now, if I take a copy of this, and if I change this into one 
colon 2. 1 colon 2 means you have to start from the first index, that means 20, then goes up until the second index. Second index means 30, so the answer is going to be the 20 itself. Now you will see here you are going to get square brackets. See? So it is due to this slicing operator. So if the slicing operator is used, it will always be limited by the square brackets. If only an index is referred, it's only the value regarding that index. Is this clear, people? Right. Okay, so for that reason, for that reason, fourth one is going to be an incorrect one because the answer is not going to contain square brackets because it is asking about an index. Right, so the answer is going to be the fifth one. 43rd, have you, yes, you have. We started from 42nd, I have to do until 50th, yes. Consider the following Python statement, temp one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six. So it is talking about a slice in two colon colon two. Now two colon colon two means what? That is what you have to uh, figure out. So two colon colon two means you are given the start you haven't given the end and you have given the step. So if the start is given, it will start from the second index. Now second index means three. The value three or the, the number three contains the second index. And since the end is not specified, it will consider all the items until the end of the list, right? So it will consider from three to six, all these items. But the step says go two by two. That means you are going to go from three to five. From five, there is no place for you to jump, right? So you are going to receive three comma five and it's going to receive with an square brackets with the square brackets, right? So three comma five is going to be your answer. Is that clear, everyone? Right. Okay. If I, if I ask the question something like this, if this slicing operator, if this slicing operator had it like this, what's going to be the answer? Yeah, Dilak, I'll come to it. If the slicing operator is something like this, colon five, colon two. What should be the answer? Uh, no, no only. Not, not that. Starting will happen in from the very from the very beginning doer. From that, then then only the step is considered doer. Yes, then what it's going to be? Yes, that's correct, Anneli. That's, that's going to be the answer. 
So now here, I haven't mentioned about the starting point. So it starts from the very first index, which is zero and goes until five, goes two by two. So zeroth index means you are starting from this place from one. Fifth index means the value six contains the index five. So literally it's going from starting to the end, but it's going to stop from the position of fifth. So if it starts from zero, goes to fifth index, two by two. So the values that is being considered is one, three, and five. Right? So the answer is going to be one comma three comma five. Right, so it's better you get ready for these things, people. They will ask, right? Then 217, 218, it can mean Deva. Right? So it's better you learn from those. Okay, Dilaka Api Metana Katakare Metana Kilati and Metana Listaka Dilatinova. It was a metana slice curna had Kilatino. The slice karan the kira the end me me vidhi hai tar. Start karan the devin index ekeng. End karan the index ka kira na hai. Ekai colon i colon ne kaat the end ne. Ah, ita passe i two kira the no two kya ne step pe ka. Tar step pe ka by default the ne ekka step pe ka define karo. E adala step pe ka taanua manage karke ne ande veno. Right. Sir, I colon deca dalatin. A colon deca dalatin, the like a mamma Start component take the end on, ilagat a colon neck ending index a cock the end on, colon neck step index a cock the end on. Either method ending index a cock specify the lane. It's an a hiss. It's about ending index a cock hiss can ne the laka. Well, this take a gutta mavenaka, consider the no hine. Right? It was the the Right? 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 Okay. So the forty fourth. Consider the following statements A equals B equals two plus three. Uh, with, they are in valid assignment statements, right? So A equals B equals two plus three. So first thing, two plus three will happen. So five, five will be assigned to B, then B will be assigned to A. So this is a correct one, right? So A and B both going to have the value five. And this is what we call tuple unpacking. So same amount of variables, exactly same amount of values. So A will be assigned with two, B will be assigned with three, right? So that is correct. And this goes the same way, tuple unpacking. Then api brackets pa vichi kalla neti unot as an example, if we write it like x equals 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, and 4 without any brackets, Python automatically consider this as a tuple, which we call tuple packing. Right? And if it uh, gives like this, a comma b equals 2, comma, 3, in, like in your question, 
Here, A will be taken the two, B will be taken the third. It is called tuple unpacking, right? Even without the brackets, happens the same thing. A takes two, B takes three, right? And to unpack, remember, exactly the same amount of values should be there at the right-hand side regarding the variables. So if there is three variables, there must be three variables, not greater, not lesser, right? So the C is also working as well as D. D is assigning a tuple to a variable called A. So everything is correct. Fifth one is going to be the answer. Right. Okay. Moving to the 45th. If you are not getting these things, just let me know, people. Right. Okay, so the 45th, consider the following Python expression, a true or false and true. Ah, yes. Now, uh, hold on. O and and, as I remember, O and and got the same priority. Let me check people. Ah, no, it goes the other way around. So not and an O, right? This is the way that the Boolean not, Boolean and and Boolean O is going to work. So not is, not will be given the highest and is given the rest and O is given the last. Again, api hari itara truth table me. Circuit teka kandhi no kota gauge sticker consider karna pili velita mai. Right, not gives the highest priority and gives the next priority, and O is going to give the last priority. Right, so according to that, the first answer true or false and true, this is going to happen first. So false and true is going to give you false. Right, so this is going to be now true or false right these two is going to give you false because and should have true as both the operands to have a result as true right so true or false will happen then regarding the o operator either of the operands are going to work as true or like going to stay as true, the answer is going to be true. Right, so it, the question what they're asking is, which of the above expression would result in Boolean value true? So first one will definitely give you, so A should be in your answer. So by figuring that out, third one is out, fifth one is out and fourth one is out. Right? And uh, yeah, so we actually do not need to bother about the part D because D is not in any of the answers in first one and the second one. We'll check it anyway. Now here in part B, it says three larger than two and false. So definitely the comparison operator takes the higher priority above uh, over the Boolean operators. Right? So this is the way. So here comes the comparison operators. Now we are, yeah. Now after the comparison operators, then only not and O is there. So that means three larger than two will happens first. Three larger than two means true. So you will be given true and false. 
which leads you to give you the value false. So definitely B should not be in your answer. So your answer is going to be the second one anyway. So this is wrong again, right? And now this two comma three in curly braces, it is, it is uh, they, they are using two equal signs people, right? Two equal signs, right? And three comma two. So now when you have the curly braces and items are separated by a comma, just single item, not a key colon value kind of items, just one item, comma, another item, comma. So this type is called a set, the set type. How the dictionary works? It has three things regarding a particular item. Then only the comma happens. And again, key colon value should be there. So this is kind of a dictionary. Right, so the, the part C, when, it, when it's going to become a set, right? Oh, hold on, let me check that, let me check that paper. Yeah, it is giving us true. And why it is providing us true, it is because the set type does not have a particular order of having the items, right? So it only consider whether the number of items are identical, or like number of items are same in number and uh, as well as in the values. Can one mother patty decatuna tianana, moka carri with the hecate decatuna da kuno de petitiana, drama de petitiane decaina, da kuno de petitiane decaida. And regarding the set type, let's check this as well, people. Another quality of the set type is it does not bother about the uh, what do you call. Uh, Well, it is not being pasted. It does not bother about the duplicate values. What I need to search is, I'm going to put another three over here. Right, so, here, this is what I'm typing. At the left side, it's two comma three, only two items and uh, two unique items. And at the right hand side, three comma two comma three, three items, but only two unique values. Three has been repeated, right? Let's enter this and see what's happening. Ah, yeah, it still gives three, true, I'm sorry. Still gives true. So this is a special point regarding the set value. Now, set value only consider the unique items in your, uh, in between the curly braces. So, if the number of unique items equals to the number of unique items in both the side and those unique items are matching correspondingly. So, then it gives you true. 
right then man make a copy karala again right make a copy karala again a method two comma two kilo tipo now එක පාට බැලුවම මේ දෙන්නේ වෙනස් දෙන්නේ 2,3,2,3,3 right so if i press enter it is still giving us true right ඒ කියන්නේ දෙපැත්තේ තියෙන set types වල values correspondingly match වෙනවා නම් unique values කියන්නේ එකම ප්‍රමාණයක් නම් unique values දැන් වම් මත ගත්තොත් 2 3 2 unique values 2 2 3යි කියන්නේ ඒතර දක්ුණවත පැත්තේ unique values විදිහට 2 3යි විතරයි නම් කියන්නේ so it's going to give you a true output right in case if i change this into 4 Let's see now what happens. So it's going to give you false. All right. And again, uh, I'm going to make this five. If I press enter, still it is false. So it's not the number of items. It's about number of unique items must be same or like must be same in number with the number of unique items in the right hand side. So left hand side unique number of items. must be identical with the right hand side unique number of items is that clear everyone right so that is what you call the set type අපි කුලක කියලා කියන්නේ so set data type okay so yeah anyway we figured that out ah yes and why d is going to be an false one d is going to provide you false d is tuple which is been uh, compared so unlike set tuple has indexes right so when they are comparing they match the indexes so if zeroth index match with the zeroth index then it's okay then the first index match with the first index then it is okay but here it is not in the left hand side 2 is the first index in the right hand side 3 is the first index so they are not identical so because of that it gives you an incorrect or like a or like a false output right so remember uh, if th this this goes the same way with the list as well right so list uh, tuple um dictionary uh dictionary dictionary let's check the dictionary as well since uh, they have given uh, different kind of variations we have to figure that out as well if i take a dictionary something like this let's say uh, this is I'm going to take like a
colon two. I'll take this as C. Right, so I'm going to take the exactly same thing. I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm going to change the places. Uh, let's 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 see what happens when it is like this. Also, oh, yes. So it says true. So it's the same key and value pair. So there are three pairs. So at the right hand side, there are three pairs. So it's going to give you true because they are identical. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this and paste it and change the order. I'll take this and I'll put it over here. I'm sorry. Right, so I'm going to press enter again. Yes, it still gives us true because dictionary and set types are the types which does not contain a proper order. Right? Dictionary, okay? Normal order, okay? Right? That can change. The order can change. Right, so the first item make a first key and a key Have a key and value key and a coin will have got when I say name. Right, so we can see how our experiments are working. Right, uh, if I get rid of C colon four from here. Got it, people? Is that clear? It's better you have these uh, outputs and examples, people. So this is going to give you false. This has only two items. This has three items. So it's going to give us false. Yeah, is this clear, everyone? All right. So in case if you want to write these examples down, so I'll give you one or two minutes. A set type picker, try kara method in the lab. So set take a dictionary okay. Product the other video.
Okay, are we done? All right, can we move? Okay, so moving to the paper. So, now, regarding the D part, all index variables are not going to be, index data structures are not going to be behave like this. So, list and tuple are both going to give you false when they are trying to compare uh, with the mix of the elements, right? But harima ordered a bit with the right. What a true humbenny list a gate up a leke in a decay. Right, two comma three. I didn't equal the Kirabalna, two comma three world. Right, hurry. You know, Katakan Lama, you take a devil or what in a product check a balloon me. I mean, I'll put a color thing then. Tapal like a coy list take a coy. Compare the problem. Man, the items saman. Right. So I'm taking a tuple. I'm taking a list. Right. So I make this as one, comma two. And I'll make it as one comma two as well. So here I'm using the identical sign. All right, so yeah, it says false because the data type, the data structure is been is different. In the left hand side, it's a, a tuple. In the right hand side, it is a list. But if you got those things in the correct, with the correct parenthesis or the correct bracket, with the correct brackets. Now this is one comma two and the right hand side is one comma two. So it's definitely going to give you true, right? In case, if you change the stuff, that means you mix this up. It's going to be false. So it is very same for the uh, uh, list as well, right? So remember those people. You will be finding uh, many of these kinds in the coming papers, right? Okay. So moving to the next question. Question number 46, the content of two files with names in.csv and out.csv are shown in figures, figure.1 and figure.2 respectively. Which of the following Python program can be used to transform the data in in.csv to the content of out.csv? Yeah, now in in.csv you can see uh, they got three lines. And in a particular line, they have three items, which is separated by a comma, one comma 20 comma 50. So if you compare that line with the output, it has one, no comma 20, 50 and 70. Now you can understand 70 comes with the addition of these two values, 20 plus 50, right? So what we have to do is we have to take a particular line from this file 
and break it into three parts and add these two things together and then you are going to store the addition and the other components which are not separated by a comma right so that is the purpose one pathathi in a line ne karagena e gollange 20 50 aragana 20 50 vitarak aragana ba eto kota kali tunakata kadla daanna wenawa split method ekak paavichcha karanna puluwam eken 20 50 ekathu karala ena total ekak kalin details tikak ekkama out csv ekak enno ne but the separator of the line is not the comma but the space so keeping that in mind let's go so the first one f1 equals open in csv uh, they have uh, open it with the read so that is correct in all the answers the first line is opening with a read so everything is correct and the next line f2 that is out.csv here in the first one they are opening this with a read access modifier so it is wrong because you you have to open it with the right access modifier right in all other answers they have open the uh, out.csv with the w access modifier so in the next line four line f1 four line f1 in every answer so it is using a for loop to read the file so it says four line in f1 so there the line is going to be act as the variable regarding the f1 file object f1 file object is referring to the file in.csv right so now anyway one is out of our context so that is what is happening for line in f1 kiyala kiwama line kiyana variable ekata f1 kiyana file ekak ithina palaweni line ekak assign wenna eka palaweni iteration ekata ilangata deweni line ekak assign wenna likewise it will go until the end of all the lines right so for line in f1 so the very first time it will consider row 2050 so it says items uh it is saying line dot strip in the second answer but line dot strip won't uh, make your line separated to three parts for that we need the split why strip part is there to take away the leading and the uh tailing spaces unwanted spaces so that is to make sure we are getting just the uh, example or like just the uh, data set that we want not taking any uh, what we call extra uh, things right so here they don't have the split method so because of that this is disqualified in the third one it says line dot strip dot split and within inverted commas it gives the comma so that should be the correct way we should write the strip and the split method isar isara hinu piti passe ne tiyana kisthan tikka bodin ayin karala ita passe ena string eka comma eken separate kar right so that is what is happening with the split and once it is being separated by a comma you are going to receive a particular list with the separated items so according to this when the second uh, when this line is executed it will create so earlier the line is like row 1 and uh, what else 2050 after the splitting it is going to be 
it's going to be a list. So row one is a string. Twenty is going to become a string as well as fifty is going to become a string. Right. So that is what is happening from the fourth line. So in the fourth answer, so this is correct as well as in the fourth answer, it is also correct. And in the fifth answer, yeah, it is correct as well, right? And the indentation is also uh, takes place clearly. And now in the third answer, it says dot equal items one. So this particular list is now named as items, right? That is happens from the fourth. Uh, stripping and splitting. So now they say dot int items square bracket one plus int items square bracket two. So one, so what are the uh, indexes that these are getting? Zero, one, and two. So it is saying convert the first index into an int and convert the second index into an int and add it up. So that must be happen, otherwise, Strings will not be add by just by their self, right? So uh, uh, then, to add two strings to have the numeric total, we should convert them into the int string. The kaku dia dekat korak kene ada bene ker. Nikang items square bracket one plus items square bracket two kira dunna na. Ikan ini. मेतन दी लती है ना विदीर दी लती है ना ना इतना दी बनने ट्वेंटी वाला पीटी पास सर फिफ्टी होम कन कैटलिनेट रहे ना सो दैट इज़ नॉट व्हाट वी वांट राइट सो ड्यू टू दैट रीज़न दिस इज़ रॉंग सो फोर्थ इज़ आउट ऑफ़ कंटेक्स्ट हियर इट इज़ करेक्ट एस वेल एस इन हियर इट इज़ करेक्ट टू so the uh, next line print item zero item one item two comma dot file equals f two. Here uh, that is correct, right? So uh, item zero, item one, item two. That means from the indexers comma dot, and it says comma file equal f two. When file equal f two is here, these values, these values will be written into the file you separate in the space why it is separating from a space api me paavichi karanne print statement print statement ekke variables keep ekak tiyana kota ewa by default space ekken separate wenu apita onnan e separate ekak change karanna puluwam scp kiyana variable ekata wena value ekak diila right but for the moment that is not the requirement so same it is written to the file f2 or the f2 object file object in this manner will fulfill our need so there is a clear incorrectness in the fifth answer here it says write these things in the file f1 not to the f2 so file f1 means what it is regarding the in dot csv so it is the incorrect file that they are referring right so because of that the fifth one is wrong okay so the third one is going to be your answer so always remember to close all the uh, files which we have opened so is that clear everyone Okay, how about others? Yes, others, how about you? 
All right, okay. All right, moving to the 47th. Consider the following statement. You see NAND NO gates over NOT AND O gates when constructing logic circuits. They make logic circuit design simpler. Yeah, in most of the cases, it's going to make design uh, much simpler because we know like uh, we can cancel some of the uh, gates when the NOT gates are like, uh, uh, happening together, right? Or oh, oh. when the uh, not type of gates are connected with each other, we will be able to uh, eliminate those things or like take out those things instead of this. We can have one single line, right? So generally, yeah, it is correct. They help to construct logic circuit that consumes less electricity. Uh, less electricity now it, 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 can, it can argue in a way the making the circuit simpler like if you have more gates that means you are consuming more power if you have less gates that means you are consuming less amount of power right right so according to that Yes, we can say it is correct. They make logic circuit construction more economical. Yeah, can be because if you take a cost regarding a particular gate, again, the cost will be reduced due to the number of gates are being reduced. Right, now the problem is there is no particular answer called A, B and C. Yeah, what is the answer here? 47. It's the fifth that they are saying. Fifth means B and C. The make logic circuit design simpler. Yes, Susu. Okay. She's crying. Mom is crying. Yeah. Okay. She puts on choo Yeah. Susu, it is very dusty. Yes, so. Okay, sorry for that people. So they haven't considered, they make logic circuit design simpler. And uh, that is something that I can't digest because there are, way, there are many different ways that we can uh, make it simpler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no mind. I'll, I'll, I'll read about it more people. So they say the answer is going to be become B and C. I'll take a look into that people, right? Yeah, yes, let's keep it and go people. Right, so in 48, which of the following function gives the sum of all elements in any list of integers, right? So it says def fx. So everyone has begun with the uh, same way. So we don't need to bother about the first line. So in the second line, they say s equals x zero. 
yeah now they say any list of integers so if the list is going to be x here right it seems to be they have taken considered x as the list right so let's say x is going to be some particular list we'll take some random values right so these things may have indexes 0 1 2 and 3 right so in the first answer it says s equal x0 so if we hand trace it regarding the first answer s equal x0 that means 2 x0 means the zeroth element of the x that means 2 then it says for i in range 0 to len x so that means i is going to change from 0 to len x so len x means what len x is provide you for like number of items that you can find inside a particular data structure that is what you call len x that is what we are getting used in the len function right so len x is 4 if the len x is 4 so your i's iteration is going to go from 0 1 2 and 3 is going to be considered because that is how the range function works so if we take range 0 comma 4 it gives a value from 0 1 2 and 3 right so this says for i in range 0 to len x so i is 0 for the very first time it says s equal x plus i so s is 2 for the moment and it's asked us to add the value of i so that means 2 plus 0 is going to give you another 2 and then you can realize it is not doing what the program has meant to be or like meant to do because we need a program which add 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 instead of instead of this particular program says take the first element 2 and add with the index which is not going to give you an output the correct output right so for that reason for saying s equal s plus i i'll consider this as an incorrect one and about the second one they were doing the same way and they are starting from one comma linux right so in that case, i's value is going to go from 1 to len x. And again, it says s equals s plus i. So we know i indicates the indexes. So s equal s plus i will not give you any good answer. So right. So because of that, second is correct, incorrect. The third, they have taken s e 0, s e 0. So let me check that. So S is zero for I in X, it says. So I in X means now X is a list. So list take a kelima metan tagan like So two, five, one, two, right to five seven nine right here now they are having the index type variable so when we are using an index type variable with a for loop the variable of the for loop which is i is going to assign with these values during each iteration so first i will become two then I will become 5, then I will become 7, then I will become 9. Right? So that means S equal S plus I means you are going to add 
i is going to be the second or the, the, the value two, s is going to be the zero. So i is two. So s equal s plus i is going to give you a two. Then again goes up for the four. So then again, I will increase by one. That is the nature of the for loop, right? Not, not the third, I'm sorry, not the third. It's the next element, which is five. So then it's equal to s plus i, two plus five is seven. Then I will become seven. Seven plus seven is equal to 14, right? So seven will become nine. 14 plus 9, it's 25. Right? So once all, everything is considered, for loop is going to stop. And it's going to return S, that means 25. So it is the uh, uh, total of these four values, right? 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. Right? So the third one is going to be the correct answer. So what's the problem in the fourth one? For i in x k and k, s equal s plus x i k la raga nati. x i k la gattot, x wala i th position ne goha yandu. Right? So x wala i th position ne goha yandu ke la ke yandu, i k na ke na change yandu ane make value but to 2, 5, 7, 9 kiya. So x wala i th position means as an example, we have to find out what is then I get a change in the maybe. Here. So we have to find out second value of the X. Then we have to find out fifth value of the X. Likewise. Right. So for that reason, this is not going to work out. Because the index is pattern and it should be zero, one, two, three. That's all regarding this example. It's going to be a jeopardize. And the fifth one, it says def f, yeah, s equal zero, i equal zero, i less than len x, i less than len x, okay. S e oh yeah, again, again, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, now here, they have gone on the correct path. The problem is this i is not going to increase. It is not being changed. There is no such a statement for that to get uh, improved. So that means because of that, due to that, this is wrong. Right, so the correct answer is going to be the third one. Is that clear, everyone? Is that clear? Okay, how about others? All right, all right. Okay, moving to the 49th. Consider the following statement implementation method. Direct, pilot, and parallel. Which of the above method is are generally used to implement a home security system? Now, home security system is kind of a security system, right? So uh, we can use the direct implementation. We take out the uh, older one. We fix the new one. 
Now for the pilot one, uh, it's going to be a problem because if it is a home security system, if we are going to apply the pilot project to a small segment, uh, since it is a security, it's going to be give us some problems, isn't it? Because we have to look at the area or look at a small area which has applied with the uh, proposed security system. Pilot key is possible no in the put on the Parallel, of course, we can, right? So parallel means like we are having both the systems. It it, uh, it, it, it will be an expensive choice, but it is possible. Right? So the answer should be the fifth. Is it the fifth? Yeah, it is the fifth. Right? So pilot take a gallop and knack in a tamai open a figure out current and own. Right. Over there, step and up. We up pilot take carry out Karagan the barrier in a while. Ika focus karo. It should be a home security system. So the security now total get the return of attend on in Right. So there will be some practical issues. So the fifth one is the answer. The 50th, consider the following clues. Yeah, they are talking about uh, software agent systems, right? Which of the above can be considered as properties of software agent systems? Yeah, can response to relevant environment changes? Uh, yes, of course, it can respond to the uh, environment changes. Always act according to the well-defined user instructions? No. User instructions are given, but not to do the work, but to say how to perform. So they will be placed in a dynamic environment. So dynamic environment change, so they act accordingly. So it's not well-defined uh, uh, guidelines for the instructions. Instructions are given, but to think, or to behave like an AI, right? So because of that, this cannot be taken as a correct one. Performs only predefined set of tasks. No, uh, hold on again. Predefined set of tasks. Uh -huh. Now that, uh... no, 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 again, no. Like, it's like this. Uh, now, if we are making a football uh, soccer robot, yeah, if we are making a soccer robot, right? So, soccer robot, the task is that I don't do anything. Suhara, that is working. How about that? No, Suhara, that is working. No, after the class, that will give you one.
Right. Sorry for the disturbance, people. Okay, so uh, yeah, perform only predefined set of tasks. Now it's like this. If we put a software agent in a soccer robot, his task is to play soccer on the soccer field. So soccer play right? Yeah, football play but apikian ne yaat oya israhate yanna dakunata harenna wamata harenna ehema kiyanne so it's a dynamic environment anit robots lat ek ek vidihata involve wenna puluwa so ek uh, analyze karala thamai ape robot weda karanna one thiye nisa a task eka predefined karanna ba but we can set the particular target or the particular goal yeah, then the task goal like a final uh, achievement like a to score a goal. Right? We can't predefine. Right? So because of that, we can take this as an incorrect one. Can make decision under under incomplete information. Yes. Now that's going to be a correct one. So A and B, the third one, is going to be the answer. Is it the third one? Yeah, it's the third one. Okay, so that's the end of the MCQ paper. Yes, so how was the marks, people? Can I know the marks? Everyone, please mark it and tell me how much you got out of 50. Dilaka, yeah, that's good, Dilaka. It's better you improve, right? Window. Yes, that's good. That's good. Only that is very good. Right, keep it up. Kovindu tau kodai thi ne. Right. Tala kuno haya khata ke ke dukara gatana ngoy adal target ke. Right. So see what are the mistakes that you have done. Right. All right, Sasit. How about you? Meanwhile, I'll take the uh, second paper. Okay, so I said, Tava Tika Vedakarand One, right? Moving beyond 30 is good, right? But it's better you work until you meet the 45, right? Okay, so let me fix this. Then let's talk about it. Right. Uh, I think uh, now this is not going to be a problem for you all. Right. So it's talking about a level one data flow diagram. This is the first time. Uh, that students had a level one uh, data flow diagram, right? So uh, I'll go by the marking scheme for the answer, right? So this is the answer. Right, so uh, how they have done is, yeah, here are the things that they have given the marks for saying customer, one mark, personal details, one mark, right, and uh, book status, one mark, saying hold on requests, one mark, saying sales, one mark and uh, writing about the cashier one mark and uh, 
yeah sales report one mark payment receipt one mark recognizing the owner one mark so is it 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 what is ah this hold on request one mark so this should be uh, uh, like recognized by uh, writing the like reading the uh, particular scenario right so uh, do anyone need to uh, discuss this people how to uh, go on with the level 1 dft Yes, does anyone need to uh, have a discussion regarding that? Okay, so moving forward. Right, so the Second one, it is asking in an operating system, what are the events that change the state of a process in the running state, right? So to do this, to answer this, you should have the idea about the seven state diagram. So, wow, that's nice, Susan. So in the running state, what are the other states? It can be terminated. Oh, thank you. It can be terminated or else it can be blocked. Or else it can move to the waiting or ready state. Right. So what are the reasons? This is due to a release. This is due to a input output weight. This is due to a timeout. Right, so those are the places or those are the states that can be changed. So they are asking what are the events? So event tsunami, you have to write about these reasons, right? So let's go by the uh, marking scheme. Yeah, termination of the process, timeout, blocked or input output operations. Ah, come do. In my name. May the end come do answer. Sir. Sir, sir, punchi dia tiada, DFT kita tiada kat kahagan. Oh tiada. Atau sir, hold on request kita tiada, hold on request tray kat loading. Oh. Anak, ek tiada tiada, he itu cutta kira dengan sir. Betul na. Anak itu na. Hari. Otena di laga scenario ke kira tiada na, customer bukke kah kiri luar na, e bukke kah muli mea bala na. मैं विजय बुक इन इन्क्वायरी का दूर ना मैं इन्वेंटरी के इन बारे में बुक डिटेल्स दी ना आते क्या ये टे पास से होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट ट्रे का बारे में खाओ रुहारी ये का होल्ड कर लाते नेट द किया ने का बाला करने के लिए तो हमारे बुक स्टेटस के लिए 
right ඊට පස්සේ කවුරුත් එක හෝල්ඩ් කරලා නැත්තම් සේල්ස් ඇසිස්ටන්ට් හෝල්ඩ් උන් රික්වෙස්ට් එකක් ආයි ට්‍රේ එකට දානවා මෙන්න මේ කස්ටමර් මෙන්න මේ බුක් එක දැන් ඉල්ලුවා සෝ එයා වෙනුවෙන් මේක හෝල්ඩ් කරලා තියා ගන්න කියලා ඊට පස්සේ කස්ටමර් එනවා බුක් එක අරගන්න අරගන්නාම කැෂියර් හෝල්ඩ් උන් රික්වෙස්ට් ට්‍රේ එක බලනවා මේ කස්ටමර් ගේ නමින් හෝල්ඩ් උන් රික්වෙස්ට් එකක් තියනවද කියලා अन्य के तमाय उतने तो होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट किए लेंगे क्लियर तो दी लगा ओ सही तो कोटा एक आई एक आई अनित कैशियर टा कैशियर आहाने का क्या नहीं निशान रखेंगे डेटाबेस डेटा स्टोर एक इन कैशियर टा दिन एक आपने होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट किया ने एक तीन तो एक दिन चुप्पा ओ मैं ओ मिंटो ओ मिंटो ओ बांडा मैं आगे क्वेश्चन ने कहते हैं बार नो क्वेश्चन ने क्या किया थी ये ना ऐसे व्हेन द कस्टमर सेकंड पर आएगा व्हेन द कस्टमर कम्स टू मेक द पेमेंट एंड कलेक्ट द बुक द कैशियर एट बुकलन रिफर्स टू द होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट ट्री एंड फाइंड द रेलेवेंट होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट मेड बाय द कस्टमर तेनाल इधर कैशियर फाइंड्स दी रेलेवेंट होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट मेड बाय दी कस्टमर एक याने कैशियर होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट ट्रेकिंग अभी तुमको कॉल क्या आया लकड़ी ये दाल आती है ना वो क्या ला कैशियर में कस्टमर के नाम आई बुक है कई इधर कैशियर ए ट्रेकिंग होयला बाल में कॉल क्या आया लकड़ी ये ना वादर में कस्टमर के � तो सही इताली में फैक्ट मारूंगे नॉन एंड का क्या मना दी नहीं नहीं यार कराने तो डे होल्ड ऑन रिक्वेस्ट लिए लती है ना कॉल के आल दारा आगे नहीं इनके ना तो उधर यार तो मैं डेटा स्टोर है इतने डे कैशियर कराने ये डेटा स्टोर है कट डेटे का दाने कर दे इतनी अरगे ना डेटे का बालने कर दे ड कैशियर इन्हें प्रोसेस से किन ए पैटर्न तो माय इतने यान दो हर सर हर सर क्लियर ओ सर राइट ओके कॉमेंट तो मैं कह रही था कॉमेंट तो एक आगे टेक का आने लाखों में दहाया देना थी ये ने मांगा हाइलाइट कर लेती थी अंदहाया एक कटे का गान, हाइलाइट करो पे एक कटे ना कटे का गान। राइट। ओके, सो दी पार्ट, सो दी सेकंड क्वेश्चंस Part A is going to be like that, right? So as I show it to you, termination of the process, timeout, uh, or otherwise you can say end of the time slice. Make or nang end of the process ke liye an pulva. Blocked for blocked for input output operations, or you can say input output wait, right? So three marks will be given. Right. So the next question is they are asking like explain the main action performed by the operating system during context switching. Now, what do you mean by context switching? Context switching is happen like it is. It is a process of switching the context inside the CPU due to a input output wait or a system event. Right. So when the input output wait occurs, the process inside the CPU will not be able to perform or will not be able to execute because that input output resource should be reached 
at the CPU from the input output device, right? So until it is being reached to the CPU, CPU does not do anything regarding the, that particular process. So on that scenarios, what operating system is doing is like taking the process from the CPU and put it into the memory because it is idling for the moment. And then allow some other particular process to be run inside the CPU. But before the operating system switch the process which is existing inside the CPU for the moment, it will write the status and the details or like if, if in simpler terms, it will update the process control block, the PCB of the switching process or the current process. So there will be like, if we, if we assume the process one is the one which is uh, running inside the CPU, right? CPU, a catholic. Right, CPU catholic run when the process one kela hit work. May I have a switch karan a calling? What it is doing is this P1 will have a PCB process control block. It is regarding the P1. So it updates the status. Right? Then let's say the next process which is going to come is P2 to the CPU. So what the operating system does is it reads or it loads the status of the P2 from P2's PCB. Go the process control block ke katamai. Process se kat sambandhe details tika tiya bin. Idar kaoru hari ke neko genna na wana. Operating system has to refer that particular process control block to understand in which states this particular process is in for the moment, right? It, it describes about the state, it describes about the uh, many things, the ID of it, the input output uh, uh, devices or the uh, input output operation uh, details. There are many, somehow, however, when you are putting another process, when the operating system put in a new process into the CPU, before it puts, it will refer the details from its PCB then it loads to the CPU, right? So that is the main thing that is going on with the operating system, right? Here, now, I have earlier the PCB AK mulling update. Karna, it was a P1 earlier the it was a PCB2 a key one of key one. I have been a CPU key run when it are right. So that is the idea that you should give in your answer. Right, so it says store the current state of the running process in PCB, load the state of the process to be continued to the CPU from the PCB, transfer the control to the process to be continued. Right. Yeah, Kovindu, about your answer, the process is switched between the RAM and the hard disk data will be loaded to the uh, Kovindu, uh, uh, this hard disk part is the problem. The process is switching between the RAM and the processor it should be. Data will be loaded. Uh, yeah, data will be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kovindu, it's better you uh, go with some explanation like it shows here. 
ඔයාගේ explanation එකේ පුතේ පොඩි පොඩි ගැටලු තියෙනවා right නිසා මේක හරියට දාගමු only let me see Save the state of the current process in the process of the block and set the current process in the world. Take the state of the process of the process that is to be process in situation. And then start the situation of the process. Yeah. Uh, the, the, on Ali, uh, here again, the problem is with the virtual memory part let me uh, let me let me uh, refer that hold on hold on Yeah. Yes, people uh, don't involve the uh, virtual memory or the hard disk with this process. Because uh, now here, the states what we are talking about is the block state, running state, and waiting state. Right? Look at the run baby එයාට IO weight එකක් එනවා ඒක නිසා එයාව බ්ලොක් කරන්න ඕන. ඒතර බ්ලොක් කරන්න වෙනකොට තමයි මේ කන්ටෙක්ට් ස්විච් එකක් කරන්න. එයාව බ්ලොක් කරනවා කියලා කියන්නේ එයාව පොඩි වෙලාවකට නතර කරලා වෙන කෙනෙකුට රන් වෙන්න දෙනවා කියන එක. So blocking happens like when the when the state change into a blocked that particular process will be moved to the RAM not to the virtual memory. That means not to the hard disk. Right? It must say, wait till I in the connect with my PCB refer karala, CPU ka to load karan. Again, waiting state is there on the RAM. Waiting state take a TN RAM make in the process. Pala. So then that particular process will be taken and give the chance to run. Only is that clear? It's better you say it's not better. It's it's the the way that you need to say it. Do uh, switch it to the RAM, not to the uh, virtual memory. Right. Okay. So now regarding the Covindu's answer. Uh, yeah. On any, uh, you can have three marks, right? And regarding COVID, oh, hold on. In your answer. Yeah, you can have only one mark since you have uh, mentioned about the PCB and the uh, and all these things, right? Samahar velava take up net even not puluam, right? Is up or duck for his name. All right, the C part. Sir, Chuti, I will have the answer. Oh, oh, the uh, answer. Sir. Uh, be simple BAK, so again, uh, marking system, uh, 
මේන් ඇක්ෂන් 3ක් 3 වෙනි එක ඒක අත්‍යවශ්‍ය ට්‍රාන්ස්ෆර් ද කන්ට්‍රෝල් ටු දි ප්‍රොසෙස් ටු බි කන්ටිනියුඩ් කියන එකද ඔව් ඒගොල්ලෝ ඒක කන්සිඩර් කරනවා නේද දීලක ඒ කියන්නේ OS එකෙන් ඒ කියන්නේ ඔතන වෙන්නේ ප්‍රොසෙස් එක CPU එකට ගෙනල්ලා දානකම් කන්ට්‍රෝල් එක තියෙන්නේ OS එක ගාව ඊට පස්සේ CPU එකට ගෙනල්ලා දැම්මා ඉන් පස්සේ කන්ට්‍රෝල් එක ප්‍රොසෙස් එකට දෙන්න ඕනේ ආ CPU එකත් එක්ක රන් වෙන එක ගැන බලා ගන්න කියලා right ඒක නිසා දීලක එතන පොයින්ට් එක මිස් කරන්න එපා මොකද ඒක ඒක OS එකේ පොඩි ෆන්ක්ෂන් එකක් තියෙනවනේ කන්ට්‍රෝල් එක එයා ගාවින් අස් කරනවා කියන එක තියරා දීලක ඒ කියන්නේ ඒ මේ කන්ට්‍රෝල් එක OS එකෙන් අස් කරනවා කියන්නේ ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් ඔපරේටින් සිස්ටම් එක ඔතනදී මැනේජ්මන්ට් ටාස්ක් එකට නේ උදව් වෙන්නේ දැන් CPU එකේ වේට් වෙච්ච ගමන් ඔපරේටින් සිස්ටම් එකට නෝටිෆයි වෙනවා අන්න CPU එක ඇතුලේ රන් වෙවි හිටපු කෙනා දැන් අතර වෙලා ඉන්න කියලා. එතකොට process con OS එක කරන්නේ process control block එකට අප්ඩේට් කරා CPU එකෙන් අදාළ process එක ගත්තා. අරගෙන ගිහිල්ලා තියෙනවා RAM එකේ. ඊට පස්සේ එයා ෂෙඩියුලර්ස් ලගේ උදව්වත් එක්ක තෝර ගන්නවා ඊළඟට රන් වෙන්න පුළුවන් කෙනෙක්. එයාව අරගෙන එයාගේ PCB එක කියවලා ඒකට අදාළව තියෙන ස්ටේට්ස් ටික රීඩ් කරලා ඒ අලුත් process එක ගෙනල්ලා තියෙනවා CPU එකෙන්. ඒතර ගෙනල්ලා තියෙනකම් OS එක තමයි එයාව එහෙම එහෙම කරන්නේ. හැබැයි CPU එකට ගෙනල්ලා දැම්මම OS එක එයාගේ control එක process එකෙන් අස් කරනවා. मेहमा प्रोसेस एक निकाम में इन्ना वा कंट्रोल यूनिट का वितराय वैध करके नहीं आने की है तेरे बाद जरूर ओया ओया गे ना आगे उम्मीद टेका हारे एक है नहीं वो आमे के लिए उन्हें ट्रांसफर द कंट्रोल टू द सीपीयू टू बी एक्सेक्यूटेड विद द प्रोसेस के लिए वो ना स्टील लोहर लाखों नहाम बे उट How about in booting up process? Now to explain what will happen during the boot up process of a computer. Mitra na mega leke bohme brief kiye lati hai ne power on self test uh, executing or running BIOS. Oye dekhenge kaap mukad BIOS run when ne patang gat time pass se uh, tamai post tech execute when ne right. So uh, power on self test uh, executing or running Uh, BIOS run the bootstrap program to load the operating system to the main memory transfer the control to the operating system right uh covid do first program will turn on and the execution of BIOS will take place then the nbr will be loaded from the rom and uh, the operating system will be loaded to the main memory transfer the control to the operating system Oh, MBR will be loaded from the ROM. And that's not what you get. Look, then, 
ROM neve eka enne hard disk ekak enne eda bute e kiyanne primary api kiyana okata primary boot device ekak kiyala eten reach the mbr in boot drive kiyala ne kiyanne right eten boot drive ekak kiyala kiyanne kobindu ROM ekak neve it can be a hard disk can be a cd can be a dvd can be a pen drive right etana change karagana etana vitara e wage varadda gata tiyenne right and it's okay so how it will drop you can't climb it up so it's not strong it is not strong you will fall and you will injure right so you you can try climbing up it's going to break so so why it is not strong not strong yeah it's bent from the middle ah so it's not strong as a uh, what we call this staircase yes she play up you can climb up the staircase not the board yeah. right mm. ah, i'm this cool yeah, ah, my god then the gate mm -hmm. Okay. All right, people. So, uh, yeah. So those instructions should be there. When the method, the method, I pick a tackle. Do you know the idea? Come on. Okay, that tackle. The upload is there. Right. So when the user powers up the computer, the CPU activates the BIOS. So you can say CPU activates the BIOS. Right. Then you can say. Uh, first will be activated then using cmos uh, checks the all hardware and uh, other important components right and then reads the mbr from the boot drive right uh, and the boot drive is going to uh, find out from the bootstrap loader which is provided by the manufacturer right then the computer loads the operating system in boot drive to the ram right or what you can do is you can simply illustrate as they illustrate in the marking scheme right post executing or running bios right run the bootstrap program uh, to load the os to the main memory transfer the control to the operating system right so three marks will be given so you have to mention about the post or the bios then the bootstrap program and uh, about loading the operating system to the main memory and then uh, transferring the control to the operating system right those factors should be there දැන් ඔදී ලක සර් අර මගේ ආන්සර් එකේ අර රන් ද බූට් ෂැට් ලෝ ප්‍රෝග්‍රෑම් කියන මැද පේලිය නැහැ අනිත් එක තියෙනවා අනිත් එක ඒ විදිහටම නැහැ ඒ තේරුම වෙන විදිහට මම ලියුවා සර් ඔකට දෙකක් ගන්න පුළුවන් ලකුණු දෙකක් දෙවි දී ලක නෝ ප්‍රොබ්ලම් රයිට් දැන් ඔයගොල්ලෝ මෙතන ප්‍රොඩක්ට් කන්සිඩර් කරගන්න දැන් මේ මේ ඔපරේටින් සිස්ටම් වල අර කොමන් ලිය අහන प्रश्न आमतापुर it is asking uh, write three key conditions to be satisfied in order to classify a transaction service between two persons as b2b in e-commerce metana yeah. solidly mahala thiyena monada three key factors thiyena so the seller should be a business buyer should be a business and the transaction should happen in an electronical manner 
those are the three factors right so a transaction between two persons can be classified as b2b if following conditions are satisfied it should be an online service or transaction the buyer should be a business user the seller should be a business user right so if those three factors are there you can have three marks right so the next question if the seller in the above transaction is replaced by a software agent state the key proactive behavior that software agent shall have so if a seller is there his proactive behavior is promoting the good to the customer to make a sale which will lead to create the uh, profit right ekane seller can get proactive behavior behavior again yeah good decker customers later bala ganne ite salasana saha market karana sale ekak karala profit aragan so same is going to perform by the software agent right ekai man thule software agent gane hitana kota manusse gane hitanna kiya so it says if the seller is replaced by the software agent then the agent represent a business user therefore the main proactive behavior is to take actions that makes high business profit right or to increase business profit so it's the same task of the particular user or the particular seller right okay so for that uh, you have given only one mark so three marks for the first part a roman number 1 a roman number 2 is one mark and part b roman number 1 they are asking about the insert statement right so they have given a particular a create table statement and what they are asking is write us sql query in sql to add the following data to the student table so student number is this name is this and the address is this right so how we are going to write it insert into student so insert into two keywords student the table name if that is there one mark can be given then values right so uh, you can specify the values without specifying the field names right or else you can go uh, as it shows here right so would the answer ke insert into student kelima table name ekak dunna values walin patan garan tiyenne deweni answer ke insert into student it passes within brackets the three uh, columns Are being specified, then values are being defined. So, method column specify when a quarter. On that matter, that you have done, hurry it. Am I going to pull the value that values take a then do? Second way will be a much secure manner uh, when you are applying the answer or when you are writing the answer, right? And values will take a quarter. One zero zero one should be within inverted commas. Saman Kumar should be inverted commas. The address, the total address should be in between inverted commas. So single quotes you are going to use. And why all the things are going to be single quotes? It is because they have said student number is Cha, name is Cha, and address is Cha. Right. So all three column represents a data type which belongs to the Cha. So, char kya ne? Character type ka kya? Kani sa anivar hai single quotes the endo ne for the data that you are going to write. Right. So, you can have one marks for the part uh, or the or, or, uh, saying insert into student. Another marks to say in values. Another uh, one mark for specifying the uh, data or the values in a correct way. 
right so metana lakunu dila tin vidaya kiyala tinawa a only nang one part a and b only two marks a b c all together it's three marks so yage values liyana tana ek post of ekak hari miss vela thibot you are going to lose that mark right okay is that clear everyone डबल को मेकोलो डबल को मेतन कीबल को मेतन कीतन राइट so for writing that you are given three marks and the next one is talking about an update statement ne the if the address of the student entered in the one above should be changed to 13 school lane jaffna write a query in sql to update the relevant record in the student table so you have to write the update query So you can say update student set address equals this particular address where student number yeah you can use like or you can use equal like equal to ready apita kelima dila thiyena nisa equal pavichi karanna puluwa right so a part is not going to change update student set address will be there and the address should be the new address that they are proposing should be in between single quotes and in the where clause you must have a where clause so where you have to say where student underscore number equals 1001 right yeah they have given uh, marks for writing just these two lines but in that case you have to write the assumption saying only one student record in the database scale right somehow you are given three marks for the uh, answer right so with that the third question is done so see how many you got out of 10 right and uh, yeah i'm going to end the session from here people since it is 11:05 so we'll meet physically on next week then right and let's continue so api 8:45 ma thiya gamana eda 8:45 katti em enda hema na uh and we'll go until the 11 right uh, paper ekak karagena enna lamai ithura apita mark karaganna lazy and uh, go for the 2018 one as well if you are done with the 2017 try the 2018 mokada apita thiyenne essay questions tik ivara karanna ek ivara karala welawa thibbo 218 patthata yanawa right so get prepare otherwise you will be uh, having uh, don't, don't have the disappointments of uh, of by not doing the paper right okay people so i'm going to end the session from here we'll see you on next week right as usual right okay thank you very much everyone have a nice weekend